Hey, what's going on, you sneaky foxes? My name's Jekyll, and welcome to the first episode of a game that just released today called Tales of Arise. An action RPG where you take control of a man called Iron Mask who is a slave for the Renas. And of course, to make things interesting, he has amnesia. One day while working, he meets a mysterious girl called Shion. Well, that triggers events that were where Iron Mask is forced to take on the Lord who has enslaved him and his friends and ultimately liberate them. This game has a fun combat system where you can, are forced to think on your toes, crafting to create that ultimate set of armor and weapons, and cooking that will give you many effects that will help you along the way when it comes to battle or just normal boss fights. But enough talking about the game, let's actually start playing it. This video is not sponsored by the way. Well, I guess it's fine. Um, okay to say that finally this game has arrived. I've been waiting quite a few months for this even though I have never played a Tales game. Don't at me, okay? You um, Tales diehard fans, don't judge me. This is the first time I'm actually playing one of these games. And I'm actually excited for this one. Because, I mean, I first saw this thing back in June and I really wanted to play, play it. But anyway, I'm now just rambling on like an idiot and I should probably get on to it. So, let's start a new game. In ages long past, it was believed that Mother Dana was indestructible and everlasting. Rena, on the other hand, was thought to be the domain of the gods, a paradise where the souls of the departed could rest forevermore. Oh, how wrong we were. In the face of Rena's unimaginable technology, its soldiers, clad in huge, shining armor, and its fearsome beasts, known as Zoogles. The prosperity and bounty of Dana all but disappeared overnight. That was 300 years ago. The world of Dana fell this? under Renin rule and its new masters split the land into five distinct realms. And now today, Orbis Calaglia, one of the Renin's five realms. It is ruled over by the tyrant Balsef, Lord of the Fire Master Corps. Unrelenting fire scorches this barren wasteland. Dust storms course over the rocks and crags, and no relief is to be found from the oppressive heat. The dead and people are toil as slaves. Day after day they suffer, under the ruthless oppression of the Renin soldiers, with only one hope of escape. Death. Yep, do it. Only in death is their agony finally brought to an end. They have forgotten what it means to be free. So complete is the Renin's domination. Okay. So basically... Why you? Let me. Huh. What is this? Some kind of slave support group? Mind your own business, you work All with- Alright! Third squad! Time to regroup! <laughs> Go 
on, get moving. Hey, wait for me. Thank you, Iron Mask. That's okay, Cole. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Iron Mask, you... you're bleeding. Hmm? We need to get you looked at by Doc. That bad, huh? Better safe than sorry, I suppose. All right, we're finally in! Destination, your next destination is marked with a star symbol. The number is the distance of the destination. Okay, so 27. I'm so sorry, Iron Mask. You got hurt because of me. Don't sweat it, kid. It's not like I felt anything. But that's why Doctel knows you to be extra careful, doesn't he? Yeah, but at the end of the day, I chose to stick my neck out for you and I don't regret a thing. So don't sweat it, Cole, okay? Okay, thanks, Iron Mask. <sighs> I doubt Doc's gonna like what he sees. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when you're a regular um, to a doctor, he isn't gonna like anything you ev he ever sees when it comes to you. Ah, uh, you again. Sorry to trouble you, Doc. Hmm. Look after yourself, and there'd be no need for sorries, would there? Now sit. He has a good point. So, still unable to remember anything, I take it? Blank as always. Nothing but that strange dream. No face, Almost no Almost all character has amnesia. Unable to feel pain, yet only too eager to take on everybody else's. What will we do with you? Here, let me see. You may not be able to feel pain, but that doesn't mean you can't be wounded, just like everyone else. If you're not more careful, you'll wind up dead without even realizing it one of these days. I watched another slave die today. More corpses than I care to count. Unfortunately, that's hardly a rare sight around these parts. Danans are always dying. And the Renans just watch. How long can this continue? Why doesn't anyone stand and fight? Because they can't, probably. Keep your voice down, will you? <sighs> if only it were so simple, my friend. There have certainly been uprisings, all right. Three centuries worth of the damn things. As for all the good they've done, take a look around and judge for yourself. <sighs> there. That should just about do it. Now, do me a favor and try to stay out of trouble so the wound doesn't open again. Doc, back when I knew nothing, you were the one who taught me just how things work around here. You know I'll always be grateful for that, but I can't just... The race is won by the calm and the steady. You're still young, and you have time. Wait for the right moment, both for yourself and the world. Work will be wrapping up for the day soon enough. Don't sit around here. Go out and feel the breeze against your skin. Even a slave's entitled to that. Just do me a favor and keep a low profile, all right? You stand out enough in that mask as it is. Guess I'll go back to my room. Okay, now we get to run around. Okay, so WASD move same as the forward dash is on with the shift. No loitering allowed, you wretched slave. Okay, so I can da dash around with um shift. What's this toggle run or dash? Okay, so I can just um use the and just toggle it. Jump, open location map. Wow, it's actually actually quite a bit here. I didn't expect it to be this big. Um, especially for the beginning area. What are you doing? Nobody said you could wander around embedded. Alright, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Cool. Are you okay? Thanks for saving me earlier. The bright I I stick these weird stones up on our bo bodies and then work us to the bone until we're dead. And it, as if the routine beatings were, um, from them weren't enough, when they're in re a really bad mood, they'd like to si stick their um, zoogles on us. I'm a slave. Just like everyone else here. So how come I don't have a spirit core? Or a face, or memories for that matter. <sighs> Not like worrying about it'll change anything. 
Actually, he has good points. I saw um, earlier on, on the Doc's hand, he had a core in his right hand, I think. But there's no core on the right hand, or the left one for that matter. But anyway, what I wanted to say earlier was, Zubus kind of reminds me of the name Moogles from Final Fantasy. So they kind of, they must have taken inspiration from that, certainly. What are you looking at? You look to get your ass kicked too? No, just want to talk. Nothing serious. They're not moving. Damn it. Then they must be dead. Either from famine or beatings. Every last one of you embedded will die and then we can do whatever we want with you. Now burn. Get the bed embedded. Now. <sighs> sure, sure, sure. <sighs> no matter how tired you get of seeing them, you can always find Rena and Lanigas hanging up in the sky. I hate it. It's like they're watching over us, keeping an eye on our, our every move. That Lanigas is especially something else. There's no way we can, we can ever hope to beat the Ren Renas when they can build floating castles like that. Okay? Ever wonder what those bright eyes like to burn all over the place? I'll tell you, it's the fuel they make us mine for. There's no reason for us to do it. Once we do, do they just take it and light it up. And that's why it's hotter than hell here. Yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense. Do I give you permission to walk off the job embedded? I don't think so. Jeez, I want to explore and this is what I get. Oh, okay, so Tab is just, um, brings up the menu. I was hoping I wanted to check the map. What's this? Listen, whatever the bastards do to you, don't even think about trying to fight back against them, Bright Eyes. Got it? I know, I know. It's not li like any of us have a chance in hell of ever beating one of those soldiers or their Zoogles, let alone Lord ba Balsef. Shh, don't talk about this in public, you two. You know, I'll do you know what they'll do if they hear you guys. Okay. If I had to take a guess, what are you trying to do? No approaching the water without permission embedded. Yeah, sure, sure, I knew it. Okay, what's in here? Can't, can't it weigh Iron Mask? I'm trying to catch a little shut eye over here. Okay, so I should get some rest. He's probably gonna say I'm not allowed to get out there. Who said you could wander around and slack off and bet it? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Anyway, rest. Yes. I wonder how many people have slept in this bed before me. Mine for now, but for how long? Tomorrow's another day. I guess I should get some shut eye. Alright, so already we've been introduced to suppression and slavery caused on the main character. I better head to work. So I've got business with the freight train today, huh? Great. I don't think I'm gonna try and talk to every single character. Or because, I mean, that's just gonna take way too long. But I guess I could talk to this, this one. Hurry and get, get going. You're on freight hauling duty today. Okay. So I'll, I'll just talk to the um, guys that have the Great. green dots on, on the map. I'm in that. I think I'll just ignore them. Am I gonna do this until the day I die? Let's hope not. Look lively, slaves. Let's see some work around here. Explosion? Grenar! <clears throat> okay, who is she? Zephyr, she's here.
Okay, why did you just jump? And into a place like that, of all places. Not that I'm gonna question your motives here, but I'm just gonna question what the hell you did. Hey, Bennett, did you find anything? Not yet, sir. What do they expect from us on such short notice? <laughs> so that's where she ended up. Over there! Go move! Go now! Huh? Get moving! Stay still! You cost us a lot of trouble, you know. Now we can do this the easy way or not. Somebody tells me, yep. Okay. Guess things are about to get interesting. That was one strong piece of metal to be able to have sent a sword. So our character may not be able to remember who he is, but he can at least fight. I mean, that's quite understandable. Believe it or not, most of the fighting com comes from muscle memory. Your chance to become lord, which means you lot live and die for me, the mighty Balsav. Got that through your skulls? Now hurry up and bring me Shion. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> Even the drinks lost its appeal. Someone's in a bad mood. Lord O'Wolsey, ruler of Orbis Calaglia. Ah, but it's wild beast you prefer, isn't it? Do forgive me. Ganabelt Volkiris, what do you want? From what I hear, you seem to be having some trouble over there in Calaglia. As a fellow lord, I merely thought to ask whether I could be of any assistance to you. Enough with the false pretense. I can tell a rat when it's sniffing around. Forgive me, I can only imagine the emotional toll failing to ascend the throne not once but twice must take. A most distressing state of affairs. Shut up! It's none of your concern. The crown contest is proceeding apace, and so quickly, I must say. It won't be long before the victor is crowned as the new sovereign. I look forward to it, and you can be sure I won't forget our little chat. Nor will I. Until next time. Let no, me guess. Finally awake. Where? 
You awake? Who are you? The name's Tilsa. I'm the medical officer for the Crimson Crows. You're in one of our safe houses. Crimson Crows? Don't tell me you've never heard of us. We're the Resistance, for the Danon people. We get in the way of the Bright Eyes' best laid plans. The Danon Resistance? I didn't know such a thing existed. Oh, we exist all right. Though I guess we're not as famous as I thought we were. Seems like I know more about you than the other way around, Mr. Iron Mask. Is it true you can't take that thing off? Yeah. Worse is that I don't even know why I'm wearing it. That woman I was with. Oh, yeah. She's quite the character, isn't she? Zephyr should be interrogating her over in the slammer as we speak. You locked her up? Why? Why? Go take a look for yourself if you're so interested. Probably has something to do with the you're lightly dead if you touch her. What the hell is going on? I need to go and find out for myself. Yeah, what I wanted to... As I said before, it probably has something to do with the uh, fact that if you touch her, you get zapped by lightning, which is not um, very good. Anyway, there's one thing I just want to quickly check. Okay, yeah, so one one thing that um I kind of forgot to mention was the fact that I did actually um, pre-purchase all, um, like, uh, pre-purchase this thing, like the Ultimate Edition, so I have all, every single, single item here. That's that's not um what I want to check. Okay, so I pretty much have, have it on the max um like graphical settings. So yeah, I just wanted to um check to see if I had it on the best possible resolution. Yep, I was right. Ah, damn it! So it wasn't a lie. The slightest touch is like being struck by lightning. What are you doing? So you're finally awake, huh? What's going on here? What did she ever? Mind your business. So even if you don't mean to hurt somebody, if they touch you, they get electrocuted, huh? It doesn't seem to be poison or magic. Is this the reason Balsef's soldiers were after you? <laughs> For the last several days, Balsef's forces have been getting pretty restless. When we looked into it deeper, the word thorns came up over and over again. And now, we come across Miss Prickly herself. Hmm. Drop the attitude. Did you really think we wouldn't find out anything about you? Miss Shion Imeris? <laughs> That's her name? Jeez. What? You didn't figure it out already? Yeah, that's right. This lady's got herself a surname. Which means one thing. She's a Renan, our enemy. Yeah, but she was being chased by Renan soldiers. So then, why? That's exactly what we're trying to figure out. After all, aside from the clothes they wear, there's only one way to tell a dandy from a red, and that's whether their eyes light up or not. Ain't that right, bright eyes? Big talk for someone who can't even use astral arts. Embedded. Don't you call us embedded! Look, you see the stone your people embedded in me? There isn't one, because we gouged them out the day we swore to rise up against your kind! Scars of reminder. Not to rest until every last Faith. one of you is. We Danons may not be capable of using astral arts, but it looks like those thorns of yours won't do you much good in escaping here either. Still, inflicting pain on anyone who comes near you, that's one hell of an ability. You're wrong. You think this curse. Is some kind of great ability? No. Curse. Fair enough. All I know is Balsef must have his eye on you for a damn good reason. And until we find out why... <laughs> An ambush! They must have tracked us down. Evacuate his plan. Hurry! And bring the girl. She gives you any trouble, wave a spear in her face. I got it. Hey, Iron Mask. Sorry, but right now it's everyone for themselves. 
What about you? I'm going to welcome our guests. Don't go dying on me. Come on, move. And don't try anything funny. At least now I have a sword. Dull Sword 1. Rusted longsword with a blade badly in need of repair. Fighting with it is more like I'm um, using a blunt weapon rather than a bladed one. At least it's better than nothing. Hey guys, Future Jackal here. Um, just wanted to quickly know that um, I actually did check the um, footage and saw that I had over two and a half hours of footage um, that I needed to edit. So, me being me, um, I would just went way too far, so I decided I was gonna um, snip it up a little bit, um, divide the footage up into a few more episodes. So right now, um, the first episode is gonna be re be released today. I'm gonna release the second episode tomorrow, but like I said, I'm gonna try and snip it down a little bit um, to about 20 minutes some size, because I don't think anybody would wanna watch a three hour long video um, from someone like me who is yet very in inexperienced when it comes to YouTube and doesn't do all that much comment commentary that's pretty good so if you guys want to see more of it um hit that subscribe button so you will be notified and hit that notification bell so you guys will um be notified when that comes out tomorrow and hit that like button if you actually want to see more of this because i am really enjoying this game so far and i'll be hope to see you guys um tomorrow bye